Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about table manipulation function in Power BI called as generate and generate all. This function allows you to apply row level filter while joining the table. First, let's review the syntax and then try to implement it with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Returns a table with the Cartesian product between each row in table one and the table that results from evaluating table two in the context of the current row from table one. So here's the syntax. It uh, takes two parameter, table one and table two. Any DAX expression that returns a table. Okay, so the definition itself may not be very helpful. But with the help of an example, let's try to understand how this function works. Here is the PBI and I have two table. The first table is the cost table and the sales table. And it has one to one relationship between using cost ID and sales ID as a joint condition. And if I go to the data here, this is my cost table, which has cost ID, product and cost and the cost id ranges from 1001 till 1006 if i go to the sales table here i have sales id ranging from 234 and 10 and revenue so now with the help of this table let's try how to use generate and generate all before we try to implement generate function i just want to recap the function which we discussed in our previous video that was natural left outer join. So first let me try to create a natural left outer join and then see how the generate and generate all is different from the natural left join. So let me create a new table here and then call this table as natural left outer join table equal to natural left outer join. I'll use my cost table. I want all the data in cost table and relevant matching records from sales table. Hit enter. If you notice here, I have all the data from cost ID table and only the matching records coming from sales table. So let's say I want to filter out this table where revenue is greater than 15. Will that work? Let's try. I'll use a calculate table function. And here, the filter, sales revenue greater than 15. Let's try. No, it did not work. There is no change at all. So applying a filter within the second parameter table in this natural left outer join doesn't work. So now let me do the same thing using a generate function. So first let me create a new table here and then call this as generate TBL. Generate table equal to generate function. The table name, I will use a cost table and I'll use the sales table. Now let's first try what happens if we do not add any additional parameters or values and just use the tables as it is. Hit enter. You can see it's creating a cross join or a Cartesian product. That's what we saw in the definition as well. Now for this second parameter table, let me use a calculate table function. I'm not adding any filter now. I'll just use a calculate table function and then see the difference. Hit enter. As you can see here, I'm getting a inner join. So wherever there is a cost ID equal to sales ID, I'm getting only those records. Now let me try to add a filter condition here where sales revenue is greater than 15. Let's see what happens. If you notice here, uh, I reduced one record because I applied a filter where sales revenue is 15. So one record where sales revenue was 15 is ignored or removed. So this is how we can uh, create a 
inner join and then apply a filter criteria on the second table. Now let's try uh, another function called generate all table, generate all function. So select new table here and let me call this as generate all table equal to let's try generate all two parameter here let's try take the cost table first and then the sales table and now without adding any further value let's see what happens give it a second and it's still running okay so here is the result and again we get the same result like generate function it, it's giving me a Cartesian product or cross join and I'm getting all the possible combination. Now let's try to use a condition or a user function called uh, calculate table here. I'm not adding any filter criteria. Let's see what we get. If you notice here, I'm getting a natural left outer join. I'm getting all the data from cost table and only the matching records from the sales ID table. So this is how the generate all function work. Now let me try to add a filter criteria here and use sales revenue greater than 15. So before I hit enter, you notice there is a record with sales revenue is equal to 15. So I'm using a greater than 15. So ideally, let's see what happens for this particular record, 1002. Hit enter. If you notice here, this particular record, sales ID and revenue where it was 15 disappeared. Basically, in what we did was we created a left outer join, natural left outer join, and then applied a filter for the revenue. So it disappeared but we still have all the records from cost ID table and only the matching data from sales ID table, sales table after we apply this uh, condition. So this is the main difference between a natural left outer join, inner join, generate function, and generate all function in PBI. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.